Yeah, so I saw this last night, kind of still getting over this like this. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for that. You are welcome. For freaking me out. Having bad dreams about witches and goats. When you're already drugged up with lots of When I'm that. already yeah. sick, right? <laughs> no, honestly, well done. This was a, this was, I didn't really know what to expect. Yeah. Um, so for you, how, I mean, getting into this kind of mindset, what kind of research did you do? And more importantly, when you did the research, what kind of things freaked you out about it? <laughs> I mean, living in relation to God in that way, mm -hmm. as they did, and, and trying to find that, that kind of place where everything is related to your relationship with God. Um, it was a strange place to yeah. take, take your mind to, yeah. in a way. Uh, so that everything that happens to you is, is, is to do with you, the way that you relate to, to yeah. your God was, uh, was kind of an intense, intense place to get to, really, right. and very unlike and modern. You know, the way I, I lead my normal yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. sure. And, and for me, it was a lot, I find it interesting just how it was for women then, being a woman which you had absolutely no say in anything really, and, and shouldn't want to as a Puritan because you refer to your husband and to God, and you shouldn't question, you know, however Catherine's not the greatest Puritan because she's so kind of pushed into an extreme situation by the time you're in the film that her, her religious comfort and, and kind of blanket gets loosened and it just started breaking her apart. She got really lost. Um, well, but some yeah. pretty serious things happen there. I mean, you know, I yeah. mean, as a mother. Yeah, yeah, it really was. And also there's a lot of things with Catherine tied in with Thomason being in the burgeoning age of womanhood yes. and me coming to the end of it. Thomason's lost the baby. Um, so there was a lot of issues for, for my character to deal with. And um, I find that interesting, just the amount of, as, as a modern woman and making your own decisions and being in charge of your own destiny, the constant referring and kind of, you know, was really interesting. I'd never really thought about it before, you know, before we did the film of how difficult it was for women then, really difficult. I mean, we think, you know, it's First difficult First of all, you had the now. ugliest clothes on the planet. <laughs> yeah, and we look like Teletubbies. <laughs> I loved my costume, I thought my costume You looked great. fantastic. You look like a swashbuckling pirate. I look yeah. like a Teletubby. <laughs> And the hat yeah, and that. Way, but it's so comfortable as well. Yeah. I mean, it really was. When I first saw it hanging up, I'm like, oh my God, really? <laughs> when, when you put it on, it's huge kind of big and broad you got waistband, your everything's extensions. really loose. Once you had your hair done, it just yeah. looked like you should be wearing those clothes. No, it felt great. I really loved it. And the clothes were great because we started filming in win the dead of winter, so it was freezing. They were great. When we finished, ah. it was boiling and we were like, yeah. <laughs> sweating. So, yeah, there was a lot of interesting things to deal with. Yeah. What do you guys think about the whole, I mean, in, you know, the prevalence of, of black magic and witches in this time? I mean, was it real? Was, I mean, but, but why people, isn't it happening now? Why people can't? Searching, for, uh, searching for meaning, aren't they? They're searching for some kind of uh, control over, over what's happening. So, uh, yeah, I think that's where a lot of that comes from. I think and nowadays we have, we have science. We have lots of yeah, things to and maybe well. not so... Yeah. Reverent to God. I mean, for you know, women were being burnt and drowned, and you know, a really, it was a real fear if people were to suspect you as a witch or, you know, anything like that, because you would be killed. Then you know, yeah. you were women were seen as this magical force that should be kept suppressed right. at all times, because if we let ourselves unleash, then, you know, what would happen to the world? It's it was an interesting thing to go back and rediscover just how tight you had constraints that you lived in then. Yeah. But I think for Tomlinson's character, she actually was freeing at the end, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, so, yeah, she, yeah. she does become really free and escapes that kind of constraints that are put on her and the expectations that are, are expected of her from her family, from God, mm -hmm. from her sibling, you know, everyone, how a young woman should be. And then we were having, we've got the discussion, she was sending out to work. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of, she's even more out of control of her life than, say, the mother is. So, yeah, difficult, very difficult being a young woman then, wanting to be a bit different or have your own mind. Right. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.